Hello world, it's your girl Lil Sonya with Let's Talk World and I'm here with the beautiful and bossy and sassy <laughs> chick I've met thus far, Miss Taylor. Hi! World, Taylor is our extreme and extraordinary beauty and beauty pageant teen idol for Las Vegas. Tell us a little bit about it. Tell us about your ensemble, your crown, and what <laughs> comes with that. Well, I'm your junior teen, United in the World, your first ever junior teen, United in the World. And I'm just so happy to be here. And my title, what it represents is to, to share my platform all over the world. And not just me, but my sister, Queens, too. And... So yeah, that's what my title stands for. <laughs> and what is it that you want to share all over the world? Well, I have two um, platforms and I also do a lot of things with my community and I love to help and I just love everyone. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Tell us a little bit about Taylor and before we started recording, she gave us permission to call her Tay. So I'd like to fall into that and call you Tay. Okay? So tell us a little bit about Tay. How did this all start? It? Where did your passion come from? What drives you? So it originally started with dancing. I've been dancing since I was three. And then, yeah. <laughs> so ten years, yeah. Um, and then I got, my mom got like a link and saying try out for Cinderella. So after that, it just blossomed. So now I do pageants and dancing, too. So you were Cinderella? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Our own personal Cinderella in studio. Beautiful. <laughs> and and then that just you just develop a passion from there? Yep. And you knew at three. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then I started, you wanted like, to do this. Yes. And then I started, like, actually doing, like, regular pageants. Instead of, like, beauty pageants, I did regular pageants. So I started with NAM, um, National American Miss and RIM, Row International Miss, and then United World, and then just Blossom. Tell us a little bit about those pageants. So, What's the difference between a regular pageant and... Okay, so a regular pageant like, like this is when you get to do like fun fitness, gown, you get to show off your fun fitness and gown. Also, you get to do interview, you get to talk about yourself. And beauty pageants is um, just like looking beautiful. <laughs> you <laughs> and, got that. <laughs> And also, regular pageants is more of like bringing people in and being united. And beauty pageants is just separate. So that's what are like the difference between regular. So beauty is more commercial, yeah. so to speak. And yeah. the regular pageants are, you know, team building mm -hmm. and meeting one. I love yes. it. <laughs> I love it. Which do you prefer? I prefer regular pageants so. because... I love to help my community and I love to like be bring people in and be united and tell them that they're not alone if they have any issues yes. and it's just my, my thing now. <laughs> and you're 13. Yes. Wow. Give us some um, examples of some of the community building skills that you have or some of the things that you do in the community. Yes. I worked with Shade Tree for Abuse Women and Children. Oh, I nice. When I was younger, I started my first ever platform, which is Taylor's Closet. <laughs> and what I, the reason why I did that was because I've seen so many like homeless people out yeah. and it's really really bad now so I was like I just want to help so I decided to get gently used items like clothes hygiene blankets towels body wash etc and I decided to give them the shade tree for abused women and children shelter and it's it's just been going on since then. Now I'm doing a podcast, I um, Talks with Taylor, where I interview those in the big community who are making a big impact. And also Dancers Against Cancer, who like choreographers, where we uh, collect fundraisings and give them to families and teens and choreographers who were impacted in cancer. So. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Talk about proud mommy moments, and I'm not even the mommy. <laughs> It's okay, you can be my second one. It's beautiful, <laughs> thank you, I love it. You're doing such amazing things. If yeah. we had more children like you in the world, we'd have a great future to look forward to. I can tell you that. 
All right, so any siblings? I'm an only child. Only child. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it feels great once in a while, like when you have an only child, you get to do whatever you want. But sometimes, like, I'm like, okay, now I want, like, a sibling and You're stuff. Bored. And I was like, I'm kind of bored because I don't really have anyone to, like, talk to with. I mean, I have my mom. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes <laughs> I want to talk with, like, someone else, like my friends a peer, or something. Someone you can relate to. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of friends, how's it been as far as having friends and being in the limelight and being mm -hmm. a beauty and <laughs> doing all these amazing things? And I'm, I'm sure you've superseded a lot of your friends and things that they're doing at the age of 12 and 13. Yeah. How has that been for you? It's actually really good. I have a lot of great friends. Nice. I have um, my friends. and It's just amazing that I have friends to like, like build up to. And like show our not non liking and liking and so that's what I really love and I still talk to the ones that are out of state um, nice. so have you lost any friends due to your no. fame or limelight Great. to be honest that's good. to be honest my friends love the fame they they literally come up to me and like walk with me and say oh this is this is my my queen and stuff. <laughs> I love it. Any particular friend you want to give a shout out today? Um, let's see. Sophia. Sophia Hilson, I know you've been out there. Um, and I know you've been with me for a long time now and you've been dealing with me. It is crazy, I know. I'm really hyper. But I love you so much and thank you so much for being there for me. Thank you, Sophia. We thank gave you, you a big shout out today. <laughs> the world is giving you your flowers. And you too. So tell us a little bit more about yourself, mom, dad, family. So my papa actually, um, we live with our grandparents. Um, so he's a veteran, um, and I love him. <laughs> I love him so much. My mom works with the VA, and she's really good at it. <laughs> so military family. Yes. I love it. Yes. And my nana is a chef. She cooks mm. really good food, sometimes homemade, a lot of times homemade, which I love. And you should try her homemade brownies. They're chef's you didn't kiss. You any brownies? I know. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring them next time. I For promise. Sure. For sure. For sure. Okay. But they're amazing. Like, I devour them in one bite. They're so oh, good. Oh, nana. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just, just one batch. Please, oh, love it, love it, love it. So it sounds like you got a a great support system. Yes, I love my support system. They're always there for me. I just love them so much. Where do you see yourself going with this? I see myself going in. Oh, it going big, cause my mom's saying, oh, I got an aura of like you making it so big in the community, and like. You are going to get so big and so famous, and then she's going to be like, you're going to leave me and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not going to leave you. I promise I'm not going to leave you. We're, we're fine. I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to go out of state. I'm going to come visit you every month, and I'm going to give you some food. And you better hold her to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he promised my mom, actually. I think he promised her. So I see myself going big really really big like on TVs and shows and yeah and what grade are you in? I'm in seventh. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to a young adult here. <laughs> seventh grade. Yes. Seventh, seventh grade. Are you looking into high schools now? Yes I'm going to Las Vegas Arts Academy um, for the dance team and yeah. That is ama an amazing school. My daughter tried out for their dance team. Oh, my God. The orientation. I felt like I was at a Broadway theater show. <laughs> it's an amazing really? school. And Good. your your bubbly personality and your spirit, <laughs> you would fit in perfectly. Perfectly. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Yeah. Okay. I'm, really, I'm really excited for me, too. So, so you want to dance. Yes. I want to dance and make it big. But when I get older, I'm probably not going to be dancing anymore because I'm probably going to be really old. But <laughs> I'm going to stay young for right now and then worry about that later. Keep but. your knees good. Yes, I'll keep my knees good. <laughs> keep your knees good. I think you'll make it. I, I promise. <laughs>
<laughs> so dancing, what type of dancing are you into? What style? Jazz. Because I, I love that. I love to be very sassy to my friends too and my mom because I know I'm, and my friends are saying, you're the boss and stuff. And I was like, I know. <laughs> you do have boss aura. I said that when you walked into the studio. <laughs> Excuse me, a little boss. I love it. I love it. So do you want to be like, do uh, you want to go into choreography, um, Actually, Broadway? Yeah. All would, of it, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it. mostly, but like choreography and cho choreographer to like um, teach. I really like to teach. These, my friends say that I'm a really good teacher. So you've had those opportunities already to teach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> seventh grade. 12 years old. My friends teaching. were like, my friends were like, when you get older, you should be a college professor or something because they know that I love science and that's what I want to be when I grow up, a college professor. So, <laughs> so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a jack of all trades here, guys. <laughs> so we got dancing, mm -hmm. we got beauty, of course, <laughs> scientists, and a college professor. Yeah. It sounds like you're going to be the first billionaire in your family. <laughs> I mean, don't don't give them wrong. I'll give I'll give my some some money to my mom, but I'll keep the rest. Okay, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. I'll give half and half to my mom. Again, I'm not, mom, I'm, hold her to it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. You love your mom. I love it. I love my grandparents. I love my nana. I love my papa. And I know nana's watching this right now. So I love you. So. <laughs> Any any pet names in the house? No, sadly, but just Tay. Yeah. So just, what do you like to do when you're not glammed up and being a beauty? I like to bother my mom a lot. <laughs> and I love her so much. She's just the best in everything she does. She looks good for being 30 39 years old. Yeah, 39 years old. She looks like she's 20. She does look good, world. She does. She, she takes, looks like her. She takes good <laughs> care of herself, like me. Good role <laughs> model, huh? Yes. Great mom. I look, I look up to my mom a lot, a lot, a lot, and I love her very, very much. That's good. Did mom inspire any of the dancing or? Yep. Ah, got <laughs> it. <laughs> my so mom we get it from mom. <laughs> my mom is a cheerleader. Used to be a cheerleader, um, okay. and my mom was like. Do you want to chill? I'm like, no. I don't want to do cheerleading. I don't want to ruin my knees. I don't want to ruin my whole body and my whole career. I don't want to lose that because I worked really, really hard for it. <laughs> but no offense to, but I love my mom so much. All right. Well, we'll hear a little bit more about Miss Tay when we come back after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll, we'll be right back. Hello, everyone. This is Joseph Skoda with Social Media Shows. Well, I thank all of you for your support through these last several years, and it's been a lot of fun. We've given people a voice they never had before. Now, Social Media Shows is always collaborate with our veterans to help them do things and help out the veterans who are struggling today. And we teamed up with GI Connections, GI Connections, connecting veterans with resources. So please consider helping and donating to this great cause because we're always doing things for veterans. So GI Connections, social media shows, and you is what makes the world a better place. Once again, Joseph Skoda, proud United States Air Force veteran. Live streaming on social media is the best new way to interact and bond with your community. Do you love to encourage, motivate, and empower others? but you do not know how? Well, your opportunity starts with us on social media shows. We have 20 shows a week live streamed across the globe. With a reach of over 80,000 and growing. So you can host your own show and you can be anything you want to be. So let's bring the community together. And let's bring the world to you. Join us now. Hey, welcome back to Let's Talk World with your girl, little Sonia. And we have the beautiful Miss Taylor, but we're referring to her as Tay. <laughs> Tay, 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 Tay today. Tay, Tay. Yes. Tell us. Tell us some, some things about your accomplishments, some of your accolades. 
So I've done over 600, no not 600, <laughs> I wish, 100 appearances over the last year, yeah, and more this year, a lot more. And now that's like bursting into, I got a governor award, I got a bronze governor award. So yeah, and then I also passed the bill for mental health, um, Hope Means Nevada, Bill 2 for 9. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're political too. <laughs> okay. Yes, um, because I know mental health is a lot to deal with, and it's very difficult, especially for teens. And I know adults have a lot, mom. <laughs> um, but I wanted to help so much, so I decided. Hope means that I decided to bring me on to meet the governor, Sisolak, and the mayor of Nevada. Um, and it was just, I was so happy to be in that appearance because I really wanted to know how to do what they do and what how they like sign papers and stuff. And I actually got to hold like the paper and they got to take pictures of me and I just that they're being beautiful. You know, <laughs> amazing. The new face of Nevada is right here in this chair in the studio with me. I'm honored. I'm so honored. So what are you working on now? So what I'm working on now is building up my talks with Taylor and also Dances Against Cancer because I know a lot of people got impacted by cancer and the reason why I chose Dances Against Cancer was because my Nana actually was a cancer survivor oh. and she survived a lot of traumatic things and so that's why I wanted to like do Dances Against Cancer and volunteer and make me as a uh, make it as a platform now. Um, so that's why I want to keep on going with the community service and stuff. Cause I'm, I know a lot of people need help right now. Yes, congratulations, Nana, on your survivor <laughs> um, cancer. It is Cancer Awareness Month this month. Yes. So are you guys doing anything special this month? Um, yeah. We're getting, we're going to have a nice, really nice dinner and stuff. And we're going to like, we're going to talk a lot and we're going to just, Love, love my Nana. Nana. That's important. That yes. love. Yes, Nana. You you look. You got some stuff to look forward to. I'm jealous. All right. So, what about any future projects coming up? Um, I really want to work on. Like, I want to be on TV. And stuff. acting. Yeah, I want to be an act. I want to be an actor and stuff. But I know I was like, I'm gonna like stick to like the community service first, and then I'll like think about it. Like I'll audition for some pieces, and I'm, if I get it, that's fine. If I don't, then I'll well, keep going. You saw how my face lit up when I said acting because <laughs> that's what I do. I yes. think you'd be an amazing star. Yes. yes. Not an actor, not an actress, a star. <laughs> yes. I see it in you. Oh, thank I see you. it in you. What type of roles would you like to play? Um. I'm still thinking about that. Like, I've been thinking about it, and I was like, because I really want to be in, like, the sassy, because I know I'm sassy, um, and I really want to be, like, a boss. So, so you're thinking, like, sitcoms opposed yeah. to movies? Yeah. Maybe, like, a sitcom? Yeah, a sassy maybe. sitcom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got invited to IMTA um, for an acting thing. So I'm really excited about that, and I'm also. Nice. Yes. I'll be there too. Yes, <laughs> can't wait we'll to be see together you together killing it. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to kill it. <laughs> also, I promise you. Yes. <laughs> so modeling, are you into uh, your beauty? So I assume that you're modeling. Yes, I've actually got invited to a really special event, which to me, like personally. Um, and it's a DAC event, and it's for modeling. I got to help, like, hand out awards for, like, big actors and big songwriters. Like, nice. I don't know. It's just very... Tell us a little it, bit about that personal feeling for you. Why is it so personal to you? Because I've, I've been in the industry, but, like, not much. I've been doing a lot of community service, but I've really thought I wasn't gonna make it huge and thank you thank you God for making the doors open for me and it's just very personal for me and it's just I just love it so much. Especially Being in that atmosphere was kinda magical for you, huh? <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, and thank you to my family for supporting me. I love them so much, and I know Nana has to deal with me a lot. <laughs> Nana, <sorry>. you're <laughs> famous today, Nana. Yes, you're very famous. <laughs> very famous. Cool beans. Tell me, who are some of your, uh, some of the people you look up to in the industry? Um, a lot of, like, Dances Against Cancer, like, a lot, and also Homies Nevada, Julie, and she's just amazing. She's done a lot of things. I I look up to her a lot. Ju Julie, Murray, I think that's how you say it. I'm still working on the name. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. And I really stick up to her because she's done a lot that I want to do. And Give us some examples. Like... She was a UNLV, she was working with the UNLV Medical. Um, I don't know, I think she was working because I was like doing some research on her. And she was like, I really wanted to do, because my mom used to be a nurse. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to like follow her footsteps and stuff. So I just love my family and I look up to her and I look up, I look up to Julie a lot and it's just amazing. So Julie's like your mentor. Yes. Kind of. Yes. Okay. Any uh, celebrities you look up to? Um, Lizzo. Ah, Lizzo. <laughs> hey, girl. Lizzo. Yes. Um, she. I love. I like her so much because she in her songs she's so powerful. Yeah. And I love how she's so. Powerful. And stands on it. It's like I stand on her. Like I just look up to her like so much. And she just tells, in her song, she just tells, like, you're not alone, and you're, don't be afraid on your body type. Just slay the stage and walk on it, and just think it's yours, and it is yours. Like, just follow someone's footsteps. Like, if you want to be, she says, to always follow your dreams no matter what. Let the doors open, and that's what I really love about her. <laughs> yes, I love it too. I love it too. <laughs> yes. So that keeps you going, Lizzo. Yes. Any affirmations you recite in the mornings or anything, any type of rituals you do for yourself to keep yourself looking beautiful and, you know, keep your spirit just shining bright? I say I'm beautiful, I'm smart, yes. I'm amazing, and also, I'm, the world is better when I'm in it. Even yes. you. Even, even yes. everybody. Everybody. Yes. <laughs> We're going to give you a call on that. Because you actually, you, you made my day a whole lot better. <laughs> a whole lot brighter. And if anyone is sitting next to you or in the room with you and they are frowning or, or sad for any reason, they have issues. <laughs> because you really bring love and light to the room. You Aww. really do. I'm such... I'm honored just to be here with I'm, you. I'm honored to be here, too. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. 12 years old, guys. <laughs> Doesn't even seem like it. <laughs> is there anything, any type of special message you'd like to give out to those your age who want to do what you do or who are inspired to do other things but have that fear? So, <laughs> it's going to go down. <laughs> going down. Now. It's going. It's going to go down. It's going to go down. Not a drill. <laughs> Pay attention. You got the flow. <laughs> so I just wanted to say, however old you are, or young you are, or three months old, doesn't matter. If you want to, if you want to do anything like pageants or dancing or community service, just, just let. Don't be. Don't be scared. Because if you get scared, then it's gonna keep it in. You're gonna. You don't want to keep it in because then it's gonna get worse and worse, and then it's not gonna go well. So make sure to like stand up for yourself, and always be confident in what you do, and always believe in what you can and what you can't do. Doesn't matter if you can or can't do. You're still gonna just try it for once and see. Okay, well I like this a lot. I'm gonna do it as like my sidekick. Or if you want to do acting as your industry, like you want to go for it, go for it. It's not, it's not like you don't want to hold it back in, because that's what a lot of my friends tell me is that they want to hold back something, and I tell them not to because then it's gonna get worse and worse. Then it's not gonna work out well. So 
Stand up for yourself and go for it. Open your doors and let God do let God do his thing and see if it works. If it doesn't, it's fine. We actually have openings for our state pageant, uh, nice. United World. Uh, Debbie is the state director and Jessica is our international. So and how can they get in contact with either Debbie or Jessica? Um, there's a link, I think. Yeah, there's the link. And there, there you can, like, sign up and see. If you guys want to do pageants, I'm here. You can ask me and see if you like it or not. And I'll also, I'll also be there. So, you'll see me. <laughs> how, tell them how... Tell the world a little bit about how, how to get started in pageants and how to get started with a podcast. Well, you can start little. You can go into like now and then you can go up. And if you want to say, oh, like me, oh, this is too easy. And what is NAM? What does NAM, NAM stand for? NAM is National American Miss. So if you want to join, you can start little. You can start with like a little group. And then if you want to go big, then you can make a posting, a, like a lot of postings, and you can see if everyone, if anyone wants to join and stuff, you can. Okay, so do you get like bonuses or points based off membership or anything? No. Okay, gotcha. You heard her. You heard her, guys. Nam. And where can we find you? Where can we find your podcast? Where can we tune in and check you out? So it's talks underscore with underscore. Taylor, and then you'll see like a little neon color and it's pink and blue it's like a little profile picture and what platform is that on it's um it's on mental health and on my podcast it's on well it's on first sorry no it's whatever take your time <laughs> it's on instagram um and then you can look at because i have a lot of postings on there and stuff so give it to them one more time, just so they, there won't be any confusion. <laughs> we can find you where? It's talks underscore with underscore Taylor. And then you'll see like a little profile picture with like blue and some neon, some blue and pink. So On Instagram, guys, go and check her out. How often does your podcast stream? Once, mm, once a month. Once, once a, month. a month? Yeah. Any particular time of the month or day of the month? Um, Yes. Basically, men, like if it's Mental Health Day or if it's Mental Health Awareness Month or is it Cancer Month, um, it's just okay. So, yeah, okay. So check her out, guys. Miss Taylor on Instagram. Check out our podcast. Um, I think we have an up and coming philanthropist here. She's <laughs> jack of all trades. I really enjoyed speaking with you today. I really enjoyed answering your questions. Thank you for your company. <laughs> Thank you, world, for having us today. Don't forget to tune in. We'll be here all week. Same bat channel, same bat time. Starring Taylor. Thank you. It's your girl, Little Soya, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>